Hello and welcome to Sprite Dota Presents Random Team Game. Ten I'm not going to join Baigi. Hello. Hello. And today's match Dara is between man. Fiora Rapira and uh, Sludo Project, I think. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Ben. Whatever. Something like that. Something like that. Is it yeah. an A? Is it an I or an L? I think it's an L. Hmm. I'm not so sure. I, 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 I will be honest, is that I do love their image. Russian flag with a scumbag nature's prophet with a rapier. <laughs> Five go wrong. seconds remaining. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, for the bands, we're seeing Batrider, pretty standard band, but first band, Weaver, and a second band, Naga Siren, coming out of. I'm gonna call them Side Project, even that's wrong. Radiant team pick. It's right enough for us to. It's yeah. close enough. Yeah, basically. Close enough is close enough. Mm hmm. Okay, yep, yeah. so it'd be interesting to see where the first picks go, because of course, with the first pick, you do have a massive advantage in this game these days. Indeed. First pick uh, means first pick and last pick, meaning, well, you get, you get an uncountable pick right at the end. Ten Pretty seconds much. remaining. Not to mention you can snag those really OP heroes nice and early. Mm -hmm. Five seconds. That said, remaining. the other team does get a choice of two, so there is a reasonable amount of OP heroes to be take. I, I can't actually find any information on Sido Project. I don't know if they, that's because they've never played before, Dio or I don't know pick. if that's because they just have a hard to spell name. Maybe you should look up the players. I can't be asked right now. Fear <laughs> and Repair have played an awful lot of games, and they're currently on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 game losing streak. Peak. So, maybe this is a It's not looking good for them at the moment. Alchemist being picked up, and the lifestyle being picked up. Um, because of Alchemist being a little bit versatile in the way it can be played, it doesn't really give away their game plan as yet. Life Stealer also doesn't give away the game plan quite yet. The second pick might do though. So I we'll kind of want to see a Darkseer coming out from them, at least from one team. He's still in the pool, so. Darkseer for uh, really Side Project would be quite good to sync up with that Alchemist stun. That said, it, it really also. Ooh, Shadow Demon. So Radiant might even look at picking up a less rack on Fury Repair and going for the typical yeah. high progressive um aggressive lane. With Lost being picked up first, it was difficult to know if he was going to be in a tri lane or end up being an off lane or even mid occasionally he goes. But it looks like they're gonna go for aggressive tri laning with this life stealer and I'll, Shadow Demon pick up. I'll be honest, I don't like him seeing anywhere other than on a tri lane. I just don't think it gets the biggest potential out of him if he's uh, sat on the off lane or in the jungle or in mid. If he's in the off lane he does as long as you have someone who's great at ganking Five that he seconds can remaining. Gank join up with. with. If you have if you've managed to snag yourself a decent mid like Storm Spirit Reserve time. or Quop or yeah. Puck, then it works up quite well. Visage being picked Radiant up probably as back. much to deny it to the life stealer. Uh, Shadow Demon pair. I don't know. Much Dio, good. Team, bang, I don't think four. they would have picked up the Visage. I mean, if you see a Visage get picked up, the Visage will generally replace the Shadow Demon in that combination, and that's oh. because if that lane would then not have a stun if it was to make a Visage. You don't always need stun, man. Just Radiant pro, team pro skills. Bang. Rubik being banned out, which might suggest that obviously they don't want a good pick up with the Visage to. Um, set up those ganks along with the alchemist in the tri lane Indeed. also they might be thinking of some big team fight picks later on so that'll be another reason why they might be banning the rubik Alina being banned out because of course she's great at the shadow demon stun mm -hmm. uh, also choosing to ban the leaner over the last track so they may be going for a push lineup with her being so effective to no dark see for you today Iggy. oh surprised they didn't get picked up in the first round of picks actually i mean it's pretty much a staple hero he doesn't get that much play these days, actually. He's banned quite a lot. Oh, it's kind of depressing, really. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, Mr. Pointy Head. <laughs> Bane ban. Uh, He's really good for Life Stealer. Yeah. Goes through BKB or a Rage, as the case may be. So. Indeed. Interesting that the Cider Project actually banned out the Nerve Siren in their first round of bans. So, don't have. Oh, there's the Lash. Radiant so, team pick. this is about as much of a, of a classic aggressive tri lane as you can get. I mean, two patches ago, this was what every team had wet dreams over, this tri lane right here. <laughs> of course, going aggressive tri lane means that they really do need to win the other two lanes, so they're going to have to pick some really strong mid and a really strong off laner. OD? OD is a profit. 
OD's a great laner, he's Ten always guaranteed to win his lane. Nature's Prophet in a one-on-one -on -one situation generally wins most Five unless he's up against something like a lone druid. And he even trolls the hell out of a full um, try lane. So he trolls the hell out of them for the first five minutes, then fucks off into the jungle and jungles. Vengeful Spirit, so that's going to be a double Dyer, stun pick. Indeed. on their lane, which is not bad. Unless of course they're thinking the Alchemist mid or something like that. And it's not looking very likely, but it's a possibility. There's the Lone Druid, so that's a really strong off lane. Or mid, depending on what's going to be picked up by I Slow Project. If they go for the OD now, the Lone Druid will go in mid, most definitely. If they choose to go for something else, I think you'll, we'll see him on the off lane and they'll choose to ban out the Lone Druid, uh, the OD, or even pick him up from Pure Repair. Uh, I don't, they might be able to pick him up, but I very much doubt they're going to ban him, because they're going to be confident with a Lone Druid pickup that they'll be able to beat him in mid. Or yeah. at least draw the lane. But I mean, Lone Druid is one of the ones that can beat OD in mid. So. Lone Druid and Razor Man. Five they might not remain. waste their ban on him, knowing that something else might come up. That's very true. That's, that's, Reserve that's, time. That would be a better uh, combination with the current pickups on Side Project. So, Side of Project currently looking for a mid and an off lane, I'd imagine, unless we're going to see the Alchemist trolling around somewhere else. But you'd it's normally just see him on the tri lane, in fairness. You don't seem, tend to see him in mid very often unless it's being played by the uh, Chinese teams. I yes. think with Sila really like playing him in mid. I think the uh, thing with actually. Alchemist is that he's a fantastic counter to the life steer in a lot of ways because if the Alchemist gets a bash up. Al oh. Ooh. Dyer, I like bad. this. Hopefully that's going to be their mid. Uh, I don't see him offlane against Lone Druid doing very well at all. Also, uh, he does crap against tri lanes. Yeah. So that has to be the mid pick. That said, I think he can do reasonably well Ten against Lone Druid. I mean, once he hits level 6, I mean, Lone Druid is royally fucked. He can't stay on Five that lane seconds anymore. Remaining. I, this is always the risk with Timbersaw, because, I mean, Chakram is one of Reserve the time. best harassing abilities in the game. Yeah, but due to his um, reasonably low mana pool early on, I don't think he'll be able to harass something like a Lone Druid off, off the lane because of how strong the bear is. Yeah, but he doesn't need to harass against the weaker opponents. Harass the lone druid. Yeah, but the lone druid just dodge it. I'm going to be punched in the face with a bear. You know, I, I don't think it's a favourable matchup for a Timbersaw to be up against a lone druid personally. I, I I think he can do reasonably well. I mean, he's tanky in that, but he's not going to win the lane. He's not going to stop CS for the Radiant lone druid at all. Ben. So. Razor being banned out, so they might actually be considering the OD here, yeah. Although, of course, Razor is quite a good anti carry for Lone Druid as well. Sap all the Oh, there's the, the OD ban. That's a pretty out. wise ban, yeah. Yeah, okay, so they've got Timbersaw in mid. He's pretty difficult to deal with in mid. He becomes really tanky once you've got a couple of levels in reactive armor, so you can't really harass him that much. I think, um, I think it would have made more sense for Fury Repairer to not ban the Razor because. As it was, is that banning that razor told them, okay, we are going to pick up an Outworld Devourer now. Both of his counters are off the table. We are picking him up. I think well, it was that Five and the fact really. that, I mean, you have to. He, <sighs> razor is pretty good against Lone Druid. And on the off lane, he's really good against Reserve Lone time. Druid. That's it. Storm Spirit and Queen of Pain are both in the pool. So, fantastic heroes for the Life Stealer, as is Puck. So. Could say they any could, of those they three. They could really use Puck as well. The silence would be really useful against something like Timbersaw. Indeed. And Alchemist, if you can get him before he has Chemical Rage up as well, because he melts without Chemical Rage up. He really needs that to stay alive in, in proper fights. And if you can get good silence on him, and you can do a hell of a lot of damage before he gets that up. So even though he has the extra regen and he's still taking damage, he's going to have a lot lower health pool to begin with. So. That said, outside of the Vengeful Spirit and the Alchemist, uh, they don't actually have any stuns so far on Cider Project, and Vengeful Spirits isn't the strongest stun for what I'm considering, and that's maybe look at taking a Storm Spirit. So, I mean, I think he's really going to eat through these supports if he can catch them out on his own. Yep, that is true. But yeah, he's a snowballer, and they've all already got pretty greedy with a Lone Druid and a Lifestealer. So I don't think that's all too greedy. I think... The puck initiation with Life Stealer is just too good to Storm turn down. Spirit but they have alive. gone for the Storm Spirit uh, instead. Radiant yeah. team pick. Well, Storm's going to pick up an Orchid most likely, and that's going to completely shut down this Timbersaw, so. Well, they're going to be looking for Life Stealer to fight early on this aggressive tri lane and Storm Spirit to get out of hand, of course. Indeed. Which means it's going to um, prevent 
them from shutting down the Lone Druid. It's going to give the space for Lone Druid to farm up, get those important items like the Radiance and um, the Basher up on the bear, so he becomes unstoppable. One thing which Ten I think they are going to have uh, trouble with is that Timbersaur is legendarily hard Five to gank, seconds remain. and Alchemist is pretty damn tough in of himself, so they're only really going to be picking off these supports, because I think Alchemist is going to be able to kind of lumber on out of there with his supports helping, and Timbersaur, well, I mean, just try and kill him. You just can't. Um, it depends how he stats. I and mean, remember, reactive armor doesn't protect him from magic damage, which is what Storm Spirit does In a great deal of. Um, That's very true, but he still gets the HP regen, don't forget. If, he's, I mean, get, if he's getting ganked in mid by a rotation from the supports, then he's going to die. Just like anyone else will. But I don't think right, he, he is pretty tanky. Visage, again, is pretty tanky. Of course, he'll be building a mechanism on like as well, which make him even tankier. Yeah. Alchemist is tanky as long as he has Chemical Rage up. Um, Vengeful Spirit, not very tanky, yeah. but there's a Puck pickup. Not a favourable like, not a favourable hero against either Storm. Storm Spirit or Lone Druid. I mean, actually, he's not bad against Storm Spirit, as long as you make sure you stat up that silence, silence. first. Yeah. Because then, of course, silence kills Storm Spirit. Because, I mean, don't forget, I mean, if Puck decides to Dream Coil on some Storm Spirit, he'll just go, well, I'll just ball lightning away. I won't, I won't give a damn. So... It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I'm pretty sure it's going to be fucking ready in, in, against the Storm Spirit. And a Timbersaw off lane against the Lone Druid. Yeah. Um, as far as I see it, the Fury Repair are winning the, the off lane, or solo lane anyway, with the Lone Druid. Yep. Um, the Life Stealer off lane, or, or Tri lane, against the lane. if it goes up against the other Tri lane, which I, it really should, because you don't want Lone Druid against Tri lane. Five seconds Indeed. remaining. It's going to provide a lot of kill potential with the, the matchup they've got. Especially if they pick up one of the people with the stuns first. Yeah. I mean, if, if you can get rid of the stunners, I mean... Well, it, it's very, very simple. If you can Prepare kill them off before their stun gets thrown, that's one stun they don't have for the fight. That's one stun they don't have for their other heroes to run away under, so... It's very true. I mean, it, uh, probably going to be a good idea to bring down... Um, uh, it's, probably, it's between Visage and, of course, um, Vengeful Spirit as the ones that are easy to pick off. Indeed. That said, I think the Alchemist is reasonably easy to pick off if they can properly coordinate. If they can get the Destruction, if they can get the Lashrax done, I'm pretty sure it's a dead Alchemist. Because well, Visage is Visage, so Visage is going to be further back anyway, because that's what he does, he floats around at the back, so yeah. that soul assumption off. So he's not going to be the easiest to pick off. Vengeful Spirit, if she comes in for denies or harass, because of her very, short very short range, yeah. she's going to be out of position a lot. So I think she's going to be one of the ones that can easily pick off if, if she does wander out of position. Alchemist is a melee hero, so he has to come in close to the creep wave to be able to click as well. Dude. So he is going to be reasonably easy to gank up, of course. Mm -hmm. It, it'll be interesting to see how they do it. If they pull it off right, they can they can really stop the uh, the farm on this alchemist. Indeed, and that's what you want to do. So, so, so we're seeing the tri lane go down bottom actually up against. So tri lane on tri lane and solo lane on solo lane. They're using the bear to scout as well in the middle, yep. which is quite good. Indeed. You don't want him being killed early on, but the bear's a tanky little bugger. Indeed. Got 1400 health and <laughs> first and level. So. At level one, you can't really see a team putting being able to put out 1400 damage that quickly. No. Here comes the bear. Yep. I think they're going to block the camp with the bear. Yeah, it's fairly light. They visit just in the bear. Actually, Leshrac is burning it at the minute. The bear might just be baiting. Oh dear, visage, don't get caught out. I think they're hoping they're up against a tri lane now. In actual fact. Uh, hoping they're up against the single lane, even. By seeing yeah. the bear. It was never going to happen for them. Indeed. So that's how they line up here. They've got the tri lane of the Alchemist, the Vengeful Spirit, and the Visage in the safe lane for the Radiant. It's up against the tri aggressive tri lane of the Dyer, which is the uh, Leshrac, Shadow Demon, and Life Stealer. In mid, we have on the Radiant team Puck. Up against the Dire uh, Storm Spirit. Mm -hmm. And on the Dire Safe Lane, we have Lone Druid farming up, up against a Timbersaw Off Laner for the Radiant. Indeed. I, To be honest, at this stage in the game, I really think, just based on the draft, I think Repair have an absolute utter edge here. I mean, 
it was good drafts by both teams, but I just think they've picked up the stronger heroes in every circumstance, and they've not really been counted as effectively as I would have liked, because all of the heroes which they have picked, they are heroes with counters. They're not straight up, this hero is broken, nothing can stop it, like the OD. So... The old days life stealer. Yeah. The problem that I've seen nowadays is it just has to get in so close to slow. So. Yeah, that's why you need a setup for them. Indeed. And they have that setup, so it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep an eye on this tri lane because it's probably going to be where the first um, amount of action is going to happen. If you, you have an aggressive tri lane, you're looking for kills. Yeah. If you're not getting kills, you're not really doing your job. Mm -hmm. your, your main job as the tri lane, aggressive tri lane, is to stop their defensive tri lane getting much farm. Which is actually going down pretty well at the minute. Indeed. My game is lagging horribly, of course. <laughs> Am I gonna blame? I'm gonna blame Steam. Oh, we just have to like just come up with theories instead. I just guess at what's happening. Guess at what's happening. Okay. Okay. Because of that pull through camp being blocked, of course. Now the the creeps are on the tower. But interestingly, the alchemist has gone. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother starting Grievous Grief because I know I'm gonna get many lost hits in this thing. I'm gonna go aggressive so we can get some kills instead. And oh, great disruption! Stopping the left strike from being killed off there by a soul assumption. Very good play there. So this aggressive tri lane is being aggressed upon by the alchemist's tri lane. Which well, is it is a see. it is a tri lane which can go aggressive from the alchemist. So mm -hmm. I mean, they've got the fizzes, they've got alchemists, and the two very very good aggressive heroes. So it, well, it's yeah. It, in the build and the alchemist, you know that he's gone. I'm not going to be able to farm like I wanted to farm. I'm not even going to go for the Google's Green at all. Even though Dyer's picking up a single level attack. might have been beneficial in the long run. But he's gone for stun and the acid spray really early on. So I think it's worth noting here, actually, is that uh, both of the Dire supports here, the Shadow Demon and the Lestrak, they're very, very level defendant. And unless they're finding kills, because they don't have the same... Uh, luck of the jungle as they would on the easy lane if they're not finding kills they're gonna oh, get they're going really on this life stealer but he rages out of it no problem and a stun comes up from leshrac to make sure they can't pursue with the leshrac mm -hmm. so definitely the action is going to be on this tri lane first blood is surely going to be here either that or lone druid it's just going to eat his way through timbersaw he's getting through it but he's a tough little cookie to crack indeed that even makes sense that saying Okay, it kind of <laughs> it's, 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 Who yeah. cracks a cookie? What the hell am I on about? Maybe it's anyway. a fortune cookie. Oh, that's the point. Yeah, he's going to be a tough fortune cookie to crack. And when you do crack him, you're only going to get bits of goblin and not a, not the future. Yeah. Unless you are uh, like one of those skilled people that can tell the future from the entrails of goblin. <laughs> Pretty damn good skill to have. Goblins are far, uh, just kind of rare creatures these days. So. Yeah, true. Being as they never existed, kind of thing. Oh, they might have. Never know, do we? Okay, looks like she's playing really aggressively up in this top lane right now. Well, yeah, he's a Timbersaw. He's like, I have armor. I don't give a crap what you do. I'm gonna regen all my HP anyway. Just the old mana though, so. Oh, Puck just picked up a DD. It might be worth having a little peek at what's gonna happen in mid. At the minute, the puck is dominating on the CS chart against the Storm Spirit. Which is going to mean that that, that early game, uh, mid game aggression that you were hoping for, um, we're using the Storm Spirit, is going to be a lot less. I, I, I don't think he's really dominating. I mean, he's five last hits I'm ahead and two denies ahead, win. so. Ah, uh, Storm Spirit had himself a regen rune. It's, it's not the worst situation the Storm could be in. I mean. I think Storm does suffer a bit from lack of damage compared to this puck, so... It's going to be a tough lane from, at the very least. Indeed. Storm not quite level 6 now, so if the puck... Yeah, here goes the puck. If the puck was going to go, he had to go before the lane. And there's the first blood. DD popped. Dream Quill popped. Down goes the Storm Spree. He had no defense. No way of getting out of it. That, that was fantastic timing there from the puck. The second he hit level 6 and he saw that the Storm Spirit wasn't level 6, that was when he went in. Because, I mean, that's what he needed to do. If he waited uh, just another few minutes, Storm Spirit would have been 6 and would have just ball lightninged away. So, really, really good play. 
Yeah, you know, being ahead by the knife really does matter, doesn't it? Indeed, it does. Phase boots coming out for the life stealer, which is nice. A little bit more right click, a little bit of speed demon. Mm -hmm. I'll be interested to see, I imagine because he's on the try line, he might be going speed demon build for the life stealer, meaning he'll pick up. Um, well, after his wand, I think we should well pick up next. He'll be looking to pick up uh, drums of endurance or something similar. Tim also managed to get his arcane boots, that's nice for him. I actually, been rooted up top by the um, my druid. I'm going to have people die on him, they shouldn't be able to kill him yet. Of course, I, early on, having I, an orb on... I, act, I actually want to point out a massive mistake I think this lone druid's made, and that's he's picked up the orb of venom. Because that builds up the reactive armor stacks with its dot. So, and because it deals so little damage and the slow is so tiny on it, I feel like that's a really bad choice, actually. I, I think he's oh, awarding... The try lane, they're looking to bring down someone, but it looks like they're actually going to go... The less right goes down first, Soul Assumption. They do get a return kill on the Visage, and they have that Soul Capture up on Vengeful Spirit, but she just stuns up the Lifestealer and backs away to their own tower. Lifestealer really wanting to kill that Alchemist, but not having the chase for it. Giving up in the end and going back to laning. Kind of an even fight there. I mean, it was support for support. Losing the lash for the visage. Well, they, I think they initiated on the visage actually, and they got the return. They managed to kill off the uh, yes. lash rack first. Yeah. Actually, they're going to chase on the shadow demon as well. In comes the life stealer though, trying to do it all he can to protect his support, but he won't be able to. He's actually got to get out of there unless he gets stunned up by the vengeful spirit. Reduction his armor. Up comes soul assumption as well. Are they going to be able to pick him off? Looking for it, but it's not quite enough damage. So close though. Mental Spirit's taking a lot of damage from this yeah. edict. Stun comes out, almost dead. One Come on, right click, surely. Come on, Lesh. Chucks it. Oh, up, so survives, and they might lose Lesh Rack themselves. No, Disruption comes out to make sure he gets away safely. Indeed. So yeah, the, the, like I said, the plan was, of course, to win the mid and to win this lane, to give room for the lone druid. Uh -huh. But it's not looking like it's going to happen. They're losing this tri lane at the minute, that's and a, they're losing mid. That said, they're not losing horrifically. I mean, they're two kills yeah. down at the minute, and Storm Switch just picked up a DD. So he could very easily look at uh, taking the fight back from them right now. So what, Especially when this Alchemist's on about half health on lane, and Visage oh, is... Looks like lone druid's in trouble, though. But no, not enough, quite enough damage for this Timber Sword to bring him down. Indeed. But yeah, I, I really don't like the Orb of Venom pick up on the bear, actually. It feels like he's just reading a um, what to build list <laughs> of a wiki guy. Because, I mean, against the, against the Timbersaw, you really need to be careful about these damage over times. Because they will just spam his reactive armor up to max instantly. Yeah, fortunately, the uh, Timbersaw is going super aggressive. So he's gone, like, full on his blades. Indeed. Rather than stacking up his reactive armor, so it's not getting that much of a bonus to him. Indeed. I think I think a second level in reactive armor though would do him wonders right now. Yeah. I mean, I mean he's pretty much unkillable as it is anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a it's a fucking timber star. He's always unkillable. That's not true. He can die. Yeah. Punk just happily last hitting him mid now. Storm Spirit not even coming out onto the lane. I wonder if Storm Spirit's gonna wait until he make overcommits this tower push. And then DD him up, but no, he doesn't look like he's going to. Indeed. That would have been a great opportunity. Oh, he's TPing down bot on the DD. He's not been spotted, so. He's waiting. It would be a kid if they can make something happen. TPing from Visage. Unfortunately, they're pushing their own way back. middle tower is under attack. Storm. Uh, they're going on the Visage. Oh, no. Storm. They're going to bring him down. In comes Storm Spirit. It doesn't do anything. Actually, it's going on the Alchemist. They're going to bring down the Alchemist. Surely, TP's coming in from the support. Oh, he's run out of mana now. He's trapped but on their tower. Soul Subject comes out and tower damage is going to bring him down. Dream Coil up on Leshrac oh. and on the Shadow Demon. They're both down as well. Life Stealer being picked off beforehand as well. So they got two kills and, well, terrible. Actually, the Storm's Prit did kill off the Visage and did I to tower. That's, I, that's I, great play. They both right-clicked each other. Storm popped his bottle and then, wow. Well, the auto attacks landed and one survived. However, his tower went down yeah. while he was away. That was a really bad trade, actually. And even worse, the Puck got enough gold off of that to pick it, up his Blink, blink dagger. dagger. Yeah. And this isn't just a Blink Dagger rush. This is blink dagger, blink dagger on top of a bottle, a Magic Wand, a Null Talisman, Power Treads. So yeah. this is only 10 minutes in. And I mean, picking up a Blink Dagger at 10 minutes in is 
decent for a puck if he's not got any other items, so. Hell, next to puck, I imagine. Now that his lane is pretty much safe because the tier one is down on the storm spirit side, it might be a good time now to go and pick off that low druid. Indeed. He needs to die. And with the nuke damage coming out from Puck and Tim from Timbersaw, I, I see it being quite possible. He does have a region at the moment, it's so all in the world. Being bottle up, attacked. get supercharged, go up there and finish. Well, the job that the Timbersaw is trying desperately to do. Yeah, Lone Druid not having the best time on the off lane as well. Timbersaw's high progression is really keeping him back. We see the Puck rotation here. He's on his way up now. There he goes. There he is. Oh, oh, Silence up the Lone Druid. That's... Drink calls him as well, and he's down so quickly. Really good rotation. Indeed. Fantastic play from this Puck, actually. I think we're seeing a man of the match already right now. Uh, Puck is one of those snowballing kind of nukers. Give him a little bit of leeway, get him that blink dagger, and he becomes really dangerous. Indeed. I mean, all that said, had that mid gone a slightly different way and it had been Stormtrooper who picked up that double damage and got those early kills. <laughs> Meanwhile, big damage coming out on the spawn Oh dear. Well, they managed to pick off the, uh, the Shadow Demon with uh, initiation. And they managed to get less rack, but they did lose the alchemist. That the said, to hurt. there's a DD down bot, and Puck is making a beeline for it. That said, he's probably going to meet attack. Storm Spirit here. Uh, blinks onto it. Blink for the win. He's going back to mid, I think, actually, off the back of that. Indeed. That said, I think if he hung around, they could very easily pick off this life stealer right now. But it's has got... chased off by the visage birds. <laughs> And They're scary, scary birds. Man. They're scary. Uh, people underestimate the damage they do as well. It's not the damage, it's the chain stuff. Uh, I, I, I think people really do underestimate their damage. If they've just stunned and they're on full on their damage, they will murder people so goddamn quickly. I think it's about 60, 70 damage they right click for with their horrific attack speed. So. I don't even know what they do damage, but they're not really that strong at this point in the game. I don't know. I'm going to bring down a life stealer, man. Not a life stealer. Yeah, but. Oh, it's. Ah. It's kind of a semi nuke, which you can't rage away from, so. Yeah. So. Alright, at the minute. Their game plan is a little bit undone. How do they recover from the position they're in at the moment? I mean, it's not a big deficit at the moment, but it's not going as they would like it. Well, all things said, Lone Druid has only died off once, and he's now currently free farming. There's no one contesting him. Oh, saying that. Timbersaw's just DPing back in, so... I think Lone Druid looks, needs to look at taking the tower off this lane. It's not an easy thing to do against the Timbersaw with this mass amount of nukes for bringing down your creep wave, but... With Demolish up on the bear, he needs to look at getting this tower down and getting the bonus gold from that nice and quickly. And Still no greed or greed on this alchemist. Manning up against this bear. Mm, bear hurts, man. I know. Fuck, be invisible. Invisible and on a DD. Ooh. Someone's gonna die. That said, there's... Two oh, right under, is that, that's sentry ward. It is a sentry ward, he's right under a sentry ward. Oh, there's a oh. puck out from the puck there. Can't kill a puck if he doesn't want to die. Yeah. He's still on the DD as well, so... He must be thinking Dream Coil. Yeah, Lifesteader, don't go near the flying dragon thing. <laughs> Hit right into some more than you do. It's actually, Dyer has know, this Puck picks up a quarter staff, so he's going to be going for an orc, I'd imagine. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Indeed. Oh, Lifestyle wanting to kill off his vengeful spirit. Oh, probably going to succeed. No, she switches out with the Visage to protect herself. Although Visage is going to die now. Oh, Timbersaw comes in. A lot of damage. Disruption up to the Lifestyle to keep him alive, but it doesn't matter. He's going to go down anyway. Oh, they're going to chase the Slash Rack. He's brought down as well with the Timbersaw. Oh my god. Good. By Storm Spirit chasing the Shadow Demon as well. He's down, dive behind tower. They lost four on that bottom lane for nothing. And if, they're going to lose this tier one as well. If Lone Druid doesn't get this tower, I'm inclined that the GG will be out soon. He needs to. 
Oh, you just say TP back, you have to say it. Oh, radius top tower has fallen. Oh, they got tower. radiant yeah. anymore, it turns out. They're working very badly on that try lane. Yeah, they're re they really are playing from behind now. It, they've not quite lost it yet. I mean, you can never really discount a live seeder. I mean, he's nearly got his armor. He's chosen not to go for the drums, which I think is probably a wise decision, actually, because he's not been yeah. finding the ganks on the lane. So getting straight towards the armor is a good choice. Yeah, it's a pretty good choice. Um, the problem I'm seeing is uh, of heroes that do not come back well from being behind, Storm Spirit is one of the top heroes for not coming yeah, back once uh, behind. And the Storm Spirit is very, very far behind right now. Yeah, he's That's basically free gold in the minute for he's, anyone with a silence. He, he has his Oblivion stuff up and he can flash farm pretty damn well. So I don't think he's completely out of it yet. That said, I mean, he's 3 2 1 at the minute, so he's doing something right. Yeah, he's getting a few kills here in the end, including that Visage kill, which was pretty good. Time. Well, he should have all right died, but I don't see him being able to make a huge impact in this game unless they get the Lifestealer in him and they go around ganking people. Which they need to start doing, to be honest. And they yeah. need to kill off this pipe more than anyone else right now. They I think once been... Storm's got his Orchid, I think that's when they need to start really looking at shutting this guy down. Well, Miz, how long can they hold out against the Onslaught? They've already lost two Tier 1s. Yeah. And Timbersaw is pretty much unkillable at this stage of the game. He's nearly got his Bloodstone already. He's a thousand gold away from it, so... Well, 900. No, he's two items away, isn't it? No, because he can disassemble. disassemble the Arcane Boots. He'll disassemble, yeah. So, yeah. Very close to his Bloodstone. This is going to be a Bloodstone at around 20 minutes, if he finds a few more last hits here. Or a few kills. Kills are preferable, of course. <laughs> Yeah, so now that they'll, now the, uh, the SP are just kind of roaming. You know, they're pushing towers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knowing that, you know, as far as a team fight goes at the minute, because they're still effectively fight, they'll be fighting five versus four. Dude. Because the Lone Druid isn't contributing to the team fight quite yet. That said, he's got 2.2k gold up, so he really is getting closer to this um, Radiance right now, so. Yeah, once he has that Radiance, he'll be really Diamond happy. Timbers always busy attack. trying to murder the Storm no Spirit and almost succeeding in the jungle. Yeah, I mean, that said, I mean, he's close to a Radiance, whereas Timbersaw's practically finished up his Bloodstone Diamond now, and they're actually the rotating up to gank him right now. Yeah, Lone Druid's out. in trouble. He didn't even see the bird that got spotted. This is gonna hurt. There he is, stunned up. This Paint is a dead, dead. That's a dead, dead, dead Lone Druid. Kill going to Timbersaw, oh. that's your Bloodstone. I don't know what this life dealer thinks he can do. Try to eat up the timber saw. But he's TP'd in a lot. Oh, he's been silenced in. Oh, he's no. dead. Instantly killed off. Like, just completely wasted. The glory of pure damage. How it looks we... like it's going to be 13 losses on the trot for our A at this rate. Yeah. Really not going well, actually. I think one thing which is worth noting is that the life dealer sat on 9 armor, but all of it is discounted by this timber saw. I mean. If he wants you dead, you're dead, and it doesn't matter how much armor you have. No, especially when you're getting ganged up, we've got Puck as well. Indeed. I, I mean, I think Puck popped the Dream Coil, but they actually killed him so quickly that it took the Dream Coil animation longer to land. So he died before it landed, so... Oh, they're actually on the hunt for this Leshrac. They don't actually spot him because of vision good. range at night. That was quite lucky for him. Well, there's a break. You get a break every now and again. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, tier two is looking. Got to hurt. And yeah, and this tier two is looking pretty sad right now. Indeed. And that's just from Breach pushing into it. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, I think oh, there's very few breaks that's on impact. They found a life stealer. Puck's found a life stealer. Mm. And he knows there's a stack there now. So it might think... be worth bringing in the alchemist to steal. Yeah, the no, I. They're currently stacking their own Ancients for the Alchemist, but I mean, if you can get their stack before the um, Lifestealer manages to finish it, it's going to be glorious. I don't... Just warded it though, though. Warded Roshan, so... Well, no. They come for it. <laughs> There's nine assists up on this Alchemist right now. Timber Sword farm in the enemy jungle, because... Well, why the fuck not? You need to return the sword. You kill a camp in exactly eight nanoseconds. I mean, it's... But you see, with this Bloodstone up, I mean, Timbersaw's biggest problem early on, as you said earlier, is a lack of mana. 
And when it's 20 minutes into the game, and he now has plus 14 mana regen per second and a thousand mana, he's not worrying anymore. He's exactly where he wants to be. And I imagine we'll probably see him go for Shiva's guard next. That's the oh, global puck um, attack. <laughs> Sorry. Push up this tier two now as well. I, I think everyone can tell that I just fucking love Timbersaw. <laughs> top tower is you do attack. like Timbersaw. You know, well, you're our mid, so maybe you can like practice. No, mid Timbersaw. Are, are they like going to defend this? They're looking like they're going to the rotate to it under the cover of smoke. Storm Spirit has the life steal in him as well. I don't think they're going to get there in time though. Unless so there's a they might get some ganks off. Where are they going after? They're going to go after the Vengeful Spirit. Not too hard pick, but they will bring her down. Nope, she managed to get out because of the visit. No, she's definitely down. They bring her down. And what else can they cause from this? They might lose Shadow Demon. Oh, they do lose Shadow Demon. Oh dear, Silence is out everywhere. Another kill coming up. Managing to bring down... Visage, so they're not doing too badly. Thorsberg needs to get out of there though. He manages to one charge up and stay alive. Down goes Timbersaw. That was an absolutely fantastic fight. I think the highlight there, um, Huck came out of his phase shift. And bang on time, Leshrac stun landed. It was a fantastic <laughs> stun from him. And well, it meant they killed off the puck, and Puck's dream call missed earlier in the fight. So, ah, uh, well, you know, there is still life in RA right now. I, th I, I think, I think they drew the engagement out too much. To be honest, they came in in dribs and drabs and just tried to push the tower. They let themselves get harassed down by the entire team, and then they started filing in one after one after half of them were already dead so sadly i mean you can see the spike in the difference on, in the experience now it's gone from being over ten thousand in advantage of Wait, SP to only eight thousand oh, yeah. now it's still not good but it's an improvement gold char is similar a 10k difference in mm -hmm. a minute and here alchemist goes into his camp actually dying incredibly quickly to these ancients right now yeah yeah good old shadow blade got a bowl charges to pop as well if you need them. Yeah, I I, yeah. I don't know. So Alchemist was in the mid. Alchemist, Ex happy bunny. Actually finishing up his assault caress off the back well, of the 400 thing. gold away, so. Yeah, it just needs the uh, plate. I think he'll do that. Uh, no, not the plate mail, the uh, chain mail. Chain mail. <laughs> So yeah, Alchemist finishing up an Assault Curious Shadow Blade phase boots at 25 minutes into the game. That's that. Think... Lifesteal has got an armlet and a basher now, so... Yeah, I think it's going to be, going to be a sending around this Roshan. If RA can defend this Roshan and actually like win the Roshan fight, take Roshan themselves, they can quite That's possibly the turn things around. Oh. Oh, they've got to pick up the Puck actually. Puck is down. Timberfall is going to harass up, but he's not going to be able to do a lot other than that. <laughs> Looks like Lifesteal wants to go on him, but... They're going to back up. They're going to eat up these familiars instead. That was a really good pickup on the puck, actually. I mean, by neutralizing him at the start of the team fight, I mean, he is the grand majority of the team fight, in actual fact. I mean, yeah. they have AoE damage, but not the silences, not the dream coil. So, really good pickup there, actually. Radiance top tower. I think they could actually take the Roshan in these 30 seconds. They're just taking Visage Birds in a minute. Yeah. Free gold! Hooray! Of course, all the movies are being trapped by this Sentry Ward down by the Radiant team. Indeed. But who are they going after? They're thinking about this. Radiant team, so he was harassing the hell out of the Roshan pit. But he's got backup now. They're just waiting for them to make a mistake. Indeed. I think this might be stun. the mistake they're looking Radiant's for. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Double oh. stun. Looking to take it's out the Storm Spirit. to save himself. Yep. Mandu freeing oh, down everyone. But the Spirit chasing up with the Lishrak. Tries to stun. Misses out though. Tries to TP out but instantly killed off. Yeah. Oh, raged up. TP from the life TP from the life tier. Make sure he gets out safely. And Storm Radiant's Spirit does survive. Has seen better days. I think this is a dead tier 2 right now down bottom lane. <laughs> well, they might go Roche. Oh, they're going for Roche, yeah. I think, I think the big problem there is that the Shadow Demon and the Storm Spirit got found out they were away from their team in the middle of the enemy jungle and it it, it just wasn't good because the stun hit both of them. I mean, you saw Shadow Demon attempt to respond with the disruption. He was so close to getting it off, but it's not quite quick enough. That's exactly what Alchemist went for him first. I figured out if I don't kill this guy, he's going to disrupt him himself and the Storm Spirit is going to run away. So, that Roshan died extremely quickly. 
Indeed. This is a very fed alchemist. I said Storm's about 100 gold away from his Orchid right now, so if they can get a silence up on Puck when he blinks in, because don't forget the cast time on the Orchid's instant and doesn't need facing. So... The... Um, Timbersaw looks like he's going to be building a BKB. Dyer's middle tower is all alone in the world. Oh, and he's going to be free to throw out all his nukes repeatedly. Oh, here comes the Ingo. They're going on the Alchemist, but he got switched out by the Vengeful Spirit. Who does sacrifice herself for the greater good? But Alchemist goes down anyway. Storm Spirit having to back out and bolt charge up. Down goes the puck. But they are going for the Timbersaw now. But he's really tanky. Can he stay alive long enough? Life still is on the run. Got armor not talking to stay alive. They're going to throw out the stun. Oh, he manages to rage out of it, though. They can't Most get him. It's going to fall to the visage, I think. They can't get him. Oh, yep. Looks like Lone Druid taking a lot of damage here. Puck's chasing him as well. Can they take him out, is the question. Ah, oh, here's the Alchemist. Yep. Down goes Lone Druid. That's oh, a pretty good fight there as well. I, I, I think what really changed that fight around was a fantastic dream coil from Puck, which initiated. They couldn't shut him down fast enough to be able to cancel that. And Well, if you're dream coiled, you're forced to fight. If you try and run, you're stunned. And then you're going to get chain stunned. they come in again. Oh, look at the how quickly the Storm Spirit just melted when he got silenced stuff. Oh, and down goes Visage as well. No, not Visage. It's Veshrak. I hide that guy. And um, those everyone actually, uh, the whole team yeah, just getting man. completely smashed up. At least it's, it's gonna be right. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is all alone in the world. Beam, Dyer's middle no tower. No GGs. Yeah. I'm, they Dyer's haven't got the life stealing for 35 seconds. Storm for it for 20. Well, he failed to defend once, but this outfit is extremely short. Indeed. As is the visage. Yeah. Back out now, TP out for the Alchemist. It's gonna go farm up bottom lane. All right, the rest of the team kind of just spread out. I think the Alchemist in that fight was kind of misunderestimating what the Leshrac was doing to him. I mean, he was the only one within range of the Edict, and Leshrac had Pulse Nova up too, and his health was just vanishing. Oh, it's DC Puck from DC. Puck. Could be a pause. I'd hope so. Maybe they feel they don't need it. Well, Puck's extremely important to the team. Puck's actually been into a BKB now, so he's not going to get silent stuff in the same way that he has done before from the Storm Spirit. And then a basher up on Alki, so... If Puck is DC'd, why is he attacking at creep counts? Maybe one of his team's controlling him? That's a, that's a possibility. There we go, he's back. Connected. And he's very confused. Why am I in the hard camp? That's my health gone. Alchemist a minute ago off the back of the Pharax um, rape managed to pick up a basher as well, so he's going to be even more dangerous. Yeah. Especially with his attack speed completely trumping um, uh, life stealers. Is doing its best, but it doesn't look good. Dyer's top tower has fallen in battle. Might have to look at defending this top t uh, this top tier three now, because I mean, can't seriously be going for a, a trade. I mean, the, the trade's already gone. They've just lost their tier yeah. two. They're going to go for this tier one here. Dyer's top tower Alchemist is nearby, but he. Oh, coming out. He's got one of them. Oh no! Oh no! And now he's just up against the lone druid and he's bare. He's got back up in the puck. Oh, Dream Quill cancels the TP! Very, very bad for this lone druid. He's definitely going to go down as well. Killed off as well. Really poor timing there. Leshrak being killed up top as well. The Tippersaw's BKB'd up. He doesn't care though. They're going to lose Vengeful Spirit. It's a lifestealer, almost certainly. Here is Timbersaw. I think if she's seriously damaged, she's going to go down too. But he does kill off the lifestealer with the help of Visage. And down goes that poor Shadow Demon. And it's looking really bad here. Lifestealer managed to buy back to defend, but. Oh, yeah, GG, well played coming out. A legitimate GG? It looks like a legitimate GG to me. I mean, <laughs> they just lost too many big fights, I feel. Yeah, but it wasn't one team fight, it wasn't even a proper team fight, it was like five versus three, I think it was. Indeed. I think I think this is the massive risk of taking an aggressive try lane and then not picking up the kills. So I mean yeah. look how under leveled their supports were. They didn't have the jungle to go and farm the same way they would have done if they were on the um, easy lane. So 
They basically just died as supports when they couldn't find kills. A pleasant surprise. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it was always going to be difficult when they 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 basically lost two out of three lanes. Yeah. Um, it made it really difficult. I like I like the 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 picking up of the life stealer and that and but it was really countered by the alchemist going you know what i'm just going to man up i'm going to fight you guys i'm not going to bother about farming yeah. anymore i'm just going to fight i'm going to stat my stun i'm going to stat my acid and we're just going to we're going to we're going to go for as much killing as you were going for Indeed. and that really disrupted their aggressive try lane and it ended up them losing more kills to the enemy than they gained back so I, they wanted to fight someone with a Midas. They wanted to fight someone who was Max and Greenville's Greed. They wanted to fight someone who would just run behind Tower if they even showed their faces on lane. And what they actually found was someone who was like, well, I'm just going to charge up this stun then. And it just cancelled out all aggression because they just didn't know how to push in against that. And I think had the Storm Spirit had a bit of a better time in mid, rotations from him could have been more effective. But he rotated in and then Puck would just TP in and because yeah. the puck had won mid so well, is that he was doing infinitely more than what the Storm Spirit could bring to those bigger fights down on the bot lane. Well, I said when they were picking before they picked up the Storm Spirit that puck would have been a better choice than Storm Spirit, and I'm going to stay with that decision because, well, it's evident. The thing about puck is that if you've picked up the puck, there isn't many things they can pick that can counter you, but puck does Off count. Off from an quite... Yeah, but he was already bad. Yeah, true. So there's not much that can counter him at that moment in time. And don't forget, you are given the last pick to the opponent as well. Indeed. So if you pick up something like a Storm Spirit and a Puck is still in the pool, they're definitely going to pick up the Puck and shut mm. him down. This is exactly what they did. And because, like I said, the Lone Druid really wanted to be one-on-one, -on -one, get in the farm, not being harassed, while the other two lanes won their lane and kept the mid-game, they didn't do that. Yeah. So the game basically spiraled out of their control and they lost I the game. I think Lone Druid, in fact, did really, really poorly up against the Timbersaw. I mean, the Timbersaw just went, okay, I'm going to go as highly aggressive as I could. And when the Lone Druid, the Lone Druid didn't stay attacking with his bear. He attacked the Timbersaw once to try and dissuade him so he could continue last hitting. But because of the Orb of Venom, the Timbersaw was like, sweet, four stacks of reactive armor. I'm going to keep attacking you. I'm going to keep going in on you. And I, I think that was a key factor. I mean, spending that 275 gold, I think that was a key factor of why he lost that lane. Yeah, normally, it's a good pickup, but against Timbersaw, as you pointed out, with the well, yeah. armor, it's not a particularly good idea. Indeed. I think you're benefiting more than you're, you're harassing if you're only getting one attack in, because of how long that health regeneration lasts in play. Yeah. And I mean, the bear doesn't right click that hard until it's got a few items. I mean, until it has phase boots, I mean, level one bear right clicks, right clicks for 33 damage. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, for, Timber Sword doesn't do too badly up against the bear, but by all accounts, the bear should be winning the lane. Yeah. The, the bear should still get far if everything else fails. Even if he gets ganked, he should find the farm. Yeah, he's not going to be... Timisol's not that great at denying you the farm. He's great yeah. at harassing the crap out of you, but as you're a lone druid and mostly it's just your bear doing the job anyway... It's he very, very hard really... for him to harass the bear yeah, because exactly. of its health. He can't really harass the bear down, so it kind of becomes this kind of where you trade blows and no one dies. Yeah. Which was what you saw until the puck rotated from mid. And then it was a very dead lone druid. He also rotated at perfect time as well. We were pick we were talking about him doing it before he did it because it was the perfect time for him to go up and do that. He went up there and they just melted him instantly and basically they'd lost all the lanes and now they made it so the lone druid died as well. Yeah. It was it, it was very, very difficult for him to come back. There was a little tiny sliver of hope when they won that team fight, but there was still eight thousand gold behind. Yeah. I think so I think they were eight thousand experience behind and yeah. ten thousand behind on the gold at the time it was it still looked really bleak and it I, didn't really improve from there i think the reason they won that team fight is that they ran at them one by one and this was a team designed for ganking this was a team for des designed to pick people off one on one mm. so when they're running into five men they are going to die they are going to lose the team fight because and i think they learned from that mistake and just said well if you can beat us if we come in in dribs and drabs we're going to go in as five and there was yeah. nothing they could do. No, I mean, well, they did really well in shutting down the puck in that particular fight as well, because he could have caused all kinds of problems. If he got a good dream coil up on all of them, yeah. then they could have just, the others could have escaped, even if puck couldn't. So, 
they, shutting him down in that situation was really good, but I don't think the, did the Orchid actually get finished on Storm Spirit? I don't think it did. Yeah, I believe it did get finished. Did it get finished? Yeah. Uh, the problem was, I think the there were faster fingers on the puck because of the way Storm Spirit enters the fight. You know where he is instantly, so you can yeah. just silence him the second he comes out. Whereas Puck um, has to blink him. Yeah, but yeah, Puck yeah Puck blinks and silences you before you can do a lot about it. So yeah, they just basically got outplayed and outdrafted. I think that that puck pickup right at the end really did mess up their plans. Indeed, and it was a fantastic puck player as well. It wasn't just the hero. I mean, that's yeah. worth pointing out. He played fantastically throughout the entire game. Oh, you know, I assume when people are playing their heroes, they'll be playing them to their utmost ability. So indeed, even when we're watching things right down at the bottom. <laughs> Maybe not at the bottom. Maybe when they're playing we'll Ricky to the best of their ability. You know how bad their ability is. Good old roaming Ricky. I miss roaming Ricky. <laughs> the blink uh, striking mid. I still remember it so <laughs> clearly. I see it at night sometimes. It haunts my dreams. But that's it from us today. Of course, you can follow us on Twitter if you want to. Follow at blah, 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 at Point Something, like Something like that. And of course, you can subscribe to the channel and listen to us wobble on about other games. Every single day. Every, every day of the, every weekday. Indeed. Happy times. Also soon, possibly, casting pubs coming up. Yeah, mm. but we, we don't want we don't want to promise things yet because you know it'll there's only four to people to promise things to. It'll happen. Okay. It'll happen. It'll happen. Anyway. Right. <laughs> Cheerio. Goodbye.